Over the past year, Hannah has been studying the Suzuki Book 3 Piano Repertoire. She has been such a joy to work with, and I've, she's consistently delighted me with her advancing musical perception and her technique. I want to thank each of you for coming to be part of this special graduation recital. I know that you're going to be excited about some of the pieces that she'll be playing, and you're going to want to applaud, but we ask that you hold your applause until she has finished with the last piece. Because Hannah, Hannah understands that every good gift and every perfect gift is from God, and because she wants to use her musical ability to his glory, she's going to begin her recital with a piece that is not in the Suzuki repertoire. It is a song that is both a prayer and a promise. Savior, like a shepherd, lead us. Precious Jesus, thou hast bought us. Thine we are. The Suzuki method of music instruction is more than simply learning to play beautifully. The founder of the method, Dr. Shinichi Suzuki, said, the main concern for parents should be to bring up their children <coughs> as noble human beings. Children can play very well, he said. We must try to make them splendid in heart and mind. Often the method is called talent education because it truly develops the talent that each child possesses. While studying Book 3, Hannah has learned pieces from all four of the main musical periods of music, Baroque, Classical, Romantic, and Modern. From the Baroque period, she will be playing a lovely little piece from J.S. Bach's notebook from Anna Magdalena Bach. As she plays minuet in G minor, listen for the counterpoint. That's two melodies subtly woven together to form an elegant little piece.
part of book three is devoted to the study of pieces in the classical period, and it emphasizes the important classical techniques that Hannah will use in music playing and arranging for the rest of her life. The book includes three sonatinas, or small sonatas. The sonatina in C by Friedrich Kulau is in typical, typical classical style, with broken chords of the Alberti bass in the left hand, lots of strategically placed rests, and broke and running scale passages. Of course, there are also many strong dynamic contrasts. The sonatina consists of two movements, the allegro and the vivace. <laughs>
to imagine the music world without Ludwig van Beethoven. Even in his <laughs> lifetime, he was regarded as a genius and heralded as the greatest living composer. This afternoon, Hannah will perform two works by Beethoven. First is a piano arrangement of the theme from his Symphony No. 3, also called the Eroica or Heroic Symphony. Next, she will play Echo Seis, a delightfully dancing little piece. era had strict rules of balance and restraint, the Romantic era moved away from that by encouraging artistic freedom, experimentation, and creativity. The music of this time period was very expressive, and melody became more important than ever. Robert Schumann, who was a composer from the Romantic period, wrote very descriptive music. You can almost see the frantic ride by the horseman in his piece, The Wild Rider. wrote music near the end of the Romantic era. His little waltz incorporates all the best of the Romantic style, plus you'll hear little hints of the surprising melodies and harmonies that are typical of the modern era of music. emphasized new understandings of harmony, melody, and rhythm. Bela Bartok is one of the most well-known composers from the modern period, which began in 1900. He wrote four volumes of teaching pieces for children based on Hungarian and Slovakian folk tunes. Teasing Song is taken from this collection.
Piece, we return to the classical period, to a challenging sonatina by Clementi. Muzio Clementi was a contemporary of Mozart, and he was a fine musician. In 1781, Emperor Joseph of Austria arranged for a competition between the two musicians. Clementi began by playing a, son a sonata that he had composed. Then Mozart improvised and played variations of that sonata. Then Mozart played a sonata that he had composed, and Clementi improvised and made, played variations of that sonata. <laughs> then they were each given a theme, a musical theme, and asked to develop it into a piano piece, which they both did very well. Who won the competition? <laughs> some declared Mozart the winner. Some said it had to be Clementi. In book three, <laughs> Hannah learned two Clementi sonatinas. She performed one of them a few weeks ago at a talent program, so she is not going to repeat that one this afternoon. Clementi's Sonatina in C Major, Opus 36, Number 3, consists of three movements, but we will hear just the first movement, the Spiritoso, today. It is considered an important graduation piece in the Suzuki repertoire, and it makes a great finale. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, yes, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. Suzuki method is the active participation of the parent and I know you'll agree with me that Sylvia has done an amazing job as Hannah's home coach 
I'd like to give her a, a big round of applause. Well done, Hannah. I look forward to working with you as you continue to use your musical talent for God's glory. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. <laughs>